Welcome beginners. Let's learn how to rate your old game with Unity from zero. Never easier with piece of scripting that anyone can learn it in one week only. Moving and jumping issues. Animation, idle, walking, jumping, running, sticky work with piece of material issues. Raycast or postcast for perfect well check. You will learn a perfect 2D player movement in this series. Let's get started. After you install UT Hub from website UT.com, open it and click to create new project. Make sure you install UT Editor 2021 or 2022 or newer person. Next, choose 2D template, name your project. Any names you like, then click Create Project. It will take a while for it. This is the first look at your first 2D project. Screen tab to build objects on your map level. And game tab is the real screen user will see when game is running. Main camera is the object control, the camera or this game screen. You can change the background color directly in this camera. Access is the location where all your game files will be. You can open this map level with double click on this screen file. The most thing we have to do is start is updating Visual Scripting Person. Window, Package Manager, choose Package in Project. All plugins using in your project will be sold here. Choose Visual Scripting Plugin, then click Update. Next, let's import some background and player image. Choose package My Assets and search for assets from UT Asset Store. We're going to use this Pixel Adventure 1. You must add it from website of UT Asset Store to have it here. I will leave this link under video. Just click and add it to your Unity. After you can see it here, press Import. Uncheck Screen Folder. Screen files from plugin might not work well on our project. Click Import to import on all the files. This folder is what we have after importing. Right mouse to create a new folder to store plugin inside. Let's open that asset folder to create our first background. There are many background images here. Choose one you like. I will get the pink one. Drag and drop it on higher bracket. It shows up on the game screen now. Right side is its information, name, scale, and all its components. Place change its draw mode to tile. This tile mode will duplicate the whole image to fill its size. There is a one in here. Choose that file, change mesh tile to full red, then click apply. The one in has gone. Now set its size bigger as you want to cover on the screen. At option free aspect, you can choose your game screen size. Change this background object to sky. Right mouse to the object, sprite, gray square object. Name it round. All new objects should be reset, transformed to position 0. If you don't see it here, open tab screen. You can see the square mark under this sky background. It's using layers to arrange images. Image and object with layer which has bigger number will be in front. Change this layer number to 1. Now you can see it. You should change layer of background objects to smaller number. That all new objects will be always in front of this background. Or you can create new layer and put objects to that layer. A sorting layer. A name for new layer. 
Don't put any objects you need in front to this layer. Next, let's put a sprite image to this 2D object. Let's choose a block image. To add an image to this object, drop an image to slot sprite. It's too small, let's scale it bigger. And set it to tired. To create a warning, change it to full red. Change its scale bigger. You can see a big gap between blocks. To clear, click on the image. Open Sprite Editor. A big gap transparent background outside here. To clear, set the size of the image with green dots. Adjust to fit the block. And then click Apply. It's a lot better now, but the strokes still look so thick because it was double the strokes when two blocks stick together. Clear lines of stroke on each this size or will be good. Then click apply. It is perfect now. Go to screen tab, choose this tool, you can fix its size easier. Scale it bigger to go over on the screen for the round. Four players can stand on this object. We need to add a collider on it. Add a box collider 2D because this is a 2D object. If you want player go through the obstacle, check this is trigger. Click edit collider to adjust its size. Scale the size of collider to cover on the round object. Now we have a perfect round. Let's take a break and see you in next video.